Attention, this content is intended for those ages 13 and up. If you're under 13 years old, please leave and come back when you're older. Thank you. Hello everybody, DK Gilson here, and welcome to my unboxing interview of the NECA, The Conjuring 2 Ultimate. Crooked man, absolutely pumped for this, I absolutely love The Conjuring 2. Uh, as a huge James Wan fan, this excites me greatly to finally have some Conjuring figures, and uh, yeah, I can't wait to get some more as well. Uh, but yeah, let's get into this, let's start off with the packaging. So at the front of the packaging, we have a nice picture of The Crooked Man right there, and it says The Crooked Man at the bottom, we have The Conjuring 2 at the top. On this side, we have The Conjuring 2, NECA, and on, the, and on this and on the back of the box, we have a bunch of obligatory product shots. Showing you a ton of different ways you can go about displaying the figure, which looks awesome. You do have a little bio right here. If you would like to read that, go ahead, pause the video, read it on up. The Conjuring 2 right there. On this side, you have The Conjuring 2. On the top of the box, you have The Conjuring 2 NECA, ages 17 and up. And if you open up the front flap, you have a nice picture of the Crooked Man right there and a nice little makeshift of the tent from the movie, uh, the, the little boy's tent in the movie. And then you have the figure right there, surrounded by all of the accessories, which looks absolutely fantastic. Cannot wait for this. So with that being said, let's get this open. Opened up. So one thing I want to show you guys real quick is if you look at the ties, they've actually replaced the ties with something different. They still like tie in the back, but these are not like standard twist ties. I'm still going to cut them all the same, but I thought I would point it out because it's the first time I've seen it. So there we go. Just cut those and you should be able to pull the figure right out just like that. And here we have the Crooked Man open up another packaging, and let's get in on the figure. So right off the bat, I want to say something about the head sculpt. So NECA has included three head sculpts with this figure, and they have made the hat completely removable. However, if you've seen The Conjuring 2, then you know the Crooked Man never took his hat off. He was never seen without his hat. Um, as far as I know, anyway, I don't know if it was a behind the scene or something or something like that, but as far as I know, the underneath of this figure without the hat, which we'll go ahead and pull off right now, is completely original by NECA because I don't believe this is in any anything. I mean, uh, the, yeah, I, you know, as far as I know, this is not something that was ever shown in the Conjuring movies, and I don't know if they maybe showed it in a special feature or something like that, but to my knowledge, this is a completely original design from NECA, and I think it looks really good. It's super creepy. Look at that. That looks like something you'd see in, like, a creepypasta, man. That is terrifying, and the, 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 the smile looks really cool, too. I'm definitely way more excited to get him with the other smile head sculpt he's got because it looks way more like the, uh, the, the smile you think of this guy in when he's in the movie. Super, super creepy. And I'm moving now into his torso. You have this awesome, like, he has a super, like, dapper uniform, which looks absolutely awesome. I think they did a great job recreating it, his little Ascot, is that what that's called? I think that's called an Ascot. <laughs> I might be wrong on that. I don't know these things, man. Um, but yeah, he has that going on. Really, really, really cool uh, uh, uniform right here. You've got, you've got the uh, tuxedo part thing right there or something like that. I don't know what you would call it, man. I don't know these things, but if we flip her over, you can actually see he has this kind of thing going on here. Some uh, pliable plastic going on for this kind of draping thing, which kind of looks like what like waiters wear. But yeah, super, super cool. The buttons are all picked out nicely. You can see right there. The the striping is also really, really, really well done, especially on the arms. You can see, really awesome. And then his creepy, lanky fingers. Look at that thing, man. That is weird looking. That is really creepy looking. They're big, too. These are big hands. Very, very, very cool. And I can tell you right now, he's got double-jointed elbows, so that's exciting. We'll go over that more in the articulation segment. But the other hand looks like he has a more splayed-out hand for this side. But yeah, really, really phenomenally done right there. Legs look absolutely fantastic as well. Once again, the stripes going down all the way, the whole thr the whole figure. One thing I'm noticing on the legs, which is kind of cool, is the way the, the knees look. If you see here, these are actually straight because you can see how the uh, the stripes actually do line up. And if you kind of twist it this way, they don't really, they stop lining up as well. Well, actually, that still kind of lines up a little bit. But you can see the kind of crooked nature of the figure, which is pretty cool. And normally that would be kind of a, you know, a, a, kind of an, a, kind of an, obnoxious thing to have like warped joints but it actually you know it works it completely works for this character so that's kind of cool ain't it uh but yeah super cool now let's take a quick look actually you know let's let's uh, finish off with the feet and the feet look really great he does have some have some wacky looking shoes here which look pretty damn cool and they do have some kind of detail going on on the side here which does look pretty damn awesome i must say i'm quite a fan of those shoes of that shoe design that is pretty cool i want a pair of these in real life man look at that look how cool those shoes are okay anyway 
let's now talk about the hat and glasses because it is definitely going to be an essential part. I don't think anybody's really going to display the figure without it because, I mean, like I said before, it was completely, um, there was never a point in the movie where you don't see him with it without his hat on. And he's not even in the movie that often, that much. He doesn't even actually have that many, that much screen time in the movie. Um, but here is the hat with the glasses, which looks really, really cool. If I can, man, he does not like to stand up though. There we go. But yeah, here's the hat with the glasses right here. And the glasses are a separate piece and they are super glued to the head. Now to, yeah, you can definitely see they are glued to the hat right there. Now you could definitely undo it if you really wanted to, but I don't see why you would want to because I mean, like I said, this is perfect. It looks just like how it does in the movie. I do really like the way it looks. The weathering detail looks really great. The glasses look fantastic. And when you put this on him, you want to make sure you get it all the way over his eyes, just like that. That's how you want it to look just like that. Now, I'm going to be honest with you, seeing the Crooked Man without that smile, without his trademark smile, is super weird to me, man. It's super, super weird to me seeing the Crooked Man without that smile, because in every picture, he's got that creepy-ass smile. But uh, let's go ahead and talk about the accessories now so we can give him that. And of course, let's just go ahead and start with it. There is the trademark Crooked Man smile. That is exactly what, what this figure needed, man. Because I tell you, man, it's so weird to me seeing the Crooked Man with this weird, like, stern expression on his face. It's also super weird seeing him without his hat on. So you can see here, he does have the standard uh, kind of NECA uh, switch out joint right here. The ball joint in the base of the neck and then the, the peg. So what you're going to do is just take this head sculpt and pop it on. And... And it does take a little bit of force to get on there, but once you get it on there, now you actually have the proper, the proper display for the Crooked Man. That is exactly what this figure needed right there. Look at that. That is perfect. Once again, getting in here close on that head sculpt. That looks fantastic. I love it. It's not perfect because the hat doesn't really want to sit down all the way. It is a bit weird, but still, it looks really, really freaking great. So that, that is awesome. I love it. Now, let's move on because you do get one other head sculpt as well. You do also get this more like, grrr face, grrr, <laughs> he's pissed about something, man, that is such a creepy head sculpt, man, I really want to know if there is actually like a special feature or something that showed the crooked man without his, uh, without his hat and glasses on, because if this is actually how he looked in the movie, that's like 10 times creepier, man, like I said, he really reminds me of something from like creepypasta or something, ah, my lamp fell down, my freaking lamp fell down, guys. <laughs> Freaking lamp always falling down on me. Ah, the struggles of being a figure reviewer, guys. But there you go. There's the head scope with the sneering on. And we'll go ahead and put the hat on. And boom, there he is. There he is with the hat. Like, Come on, get on there, you son of a bitch. <laughs> That's pretty cool. But yeah, there he is with that. I don't know, man. I honestly really like that unmasked head. I just like the di I just like the black eyes of nothingness. There's just nothing in the eyes. They're just empty sockets. I think that's a really cool idea to go with for this character. But yeah, and the hat. I wish the hat sat on a little bit better because, like you can see here, his head. It looks like it's like sitting on an angle, which is not accurate. It's supposed to be straight. It's supposed to be straight, just like that. But yeah, there is the head sculpt right there can't get a nice look of it that looks really 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 freaking good i really like the way that looks so there is the head sculpts the next accessory you get is you get the absolutely awesome crooked umbrella and just look at this thing oh my god neck and knocked it out of the park with the sculpt on this thing it is perfect look at those look at those creepy like points at the end right there that is so cool and then the wooden handle that hooks up right there oh my good Absolutely perfect. Absolutely perfect. And then the wire right there coming out of the umbrella. This is absolutely flawlessly done, NECA. Well done. And to give him the umbrella, what you have to do is remove this hand right there. It's just on a peg. And you get this hand right here, which is a nice tight grip. And you can just stick this on to the peg. If it will go on. Come on. Come on, you son of a bitch. There we go. And now, you can just take this and put it through, just like that, and there you go. Now you can have him with, well actually you can't really get him in a good like, pose with it. It's kind of difficult, but this is definitely the hand to hold the umbrella, because the other ones are, are too, are too, uh, too wide open. 
But yeah, there you have him with the umbrella right there. You can maybe get some cool like over the shoulder poses or something. I don't know. That's how you get him to hold it. It doesn't, it's not perfect. I will definitely get some cool poses with it when we get into our showcase. But there he is with his umbrella. We'll definitely figure this out better when I get to the, uh, to the showcase. But <laughs> there is the umbrella. And now probably the coolest accessory you get with this, you get the actual like music box thing that summons the Crooked Man in the movie that is super super cool. Although, there he is, okay, so you can see him right there. In the movie I thought it was more of like a, um, it was kind of just like a line of the Crooked Man just kind of going over and over again, I guess, I don't really know, I don't recognize it looking like this in the movie, but, oh yeah, you can see in the middle, that's what, yeah, I remember now, so you can see in the actual uh, middle of the music box, you can see all the crooked mans in the line right there. Honestly, kind of make, kind of looks like, like, tribal markings or something, doesn't it? But yeah, he's in there. Pretty cool. And then the crank on this side, which can actually turn. That's pretty awesome. They did have that on the, um, on that jack in the box in the Pennywise accessory set, too. So that's awesome that you can actually crank it right there. So very, very cool that he includes this accessory as well. And this will be a perfect accessory just ha to just have sitting next to the figure on his display. That looks fantastic. Fantastic. And last but not least, you get a pair of gripping hands that are more, uh, just more wide open. These aren't really for the umbrella. I'm not really sure what you could use to put these on, but you, but you do get these and they do switch out just like the standard hands. So you do get those as well. Now for articulation, of course, once again, the head sculpt is on that peg system. So there's a ball joint in the neck, a peg going into the head. And when you have the head on, the head can go up. Actually, a really good amount of up, a uh, pretty good amount of down, and some good tilt right there. Good tilt. Well, actually, really good amount of articulation in the head there, guys. Actually, like super, super good. And then a full 360, of course, as well. In the torso, you do have a joint right here in the, uh, like right here in kind of the waist sort of thing. So you can get some crunch and a little bit of back. Not a ton. I mean, he is supposed to be kind of slunked over. Uh, this is the design of the character. He's supposed to be a little bit slunked over. So that's pretty cool. Arms can go up that far. They can swivel at the base. Uh, there is a double jointed bend in the elbow, although it is kind of stuck. There you go. So you can get a really good amount of movement in the elbow right there, which is super cool. One, and you can get a swivel at each one of these points as well, which is super nice. That one's actually kind of ratcheted. That's a little bit weird. Hands can hinge down, can hinge up, and can swivel, which is very nice. Legs can go forward that far, back that far. Actually, a really good amount of back. And the knee can bend that far about 90 degrees and then the feet do have a ball joint in there so you can actually get a really good amount of movement look at that ankle pivot that's fantastic you can get a really good amount of ankle pivot and you can get some up and you can get some down as well so that's really good articulation is fantastic on this figure now for comparison let's of course begin with the most obvious comparison here he is with the 8 inch retro cloth Valak the Nun so you can have two members of the Conjuring family at the moment we do have Annabelle coming out in December but let's talk a little bit about these two for a second so you're noticing right off the bat obviously my nun is mo is mildly modified she does have a crucifix around her neck and that is a, and that is to replicate her look from the Conjuring 2 because in the Nun which is what this figure was based off of um she does not have the crucifix so I added the crucifix to make her look like she was a, like to make her more of the version from The Conjuring 2 because I prefer The Conjuring 2 way more than none. I still haven't even seen The Nun. I'm sorry. <laughs> I still haven't even seen it. So yeah, um, that is definitely something to point out with this comparison right here. But I think these two look really great together. And I definitely think they, um, they'll look even better once we get the Annabelle because I'm Pretty sure those are probably the three most notable of the of the things from The Conjuring. Obviously, Annabelle is basically the face of the franchise, but in my opinion, I think the witch, the witch spirit from the first movie, is another one that we really should get a figure of. I really think the witch lady from the first one should definitely be one we get a figure of. I know it's kind of Sadako Kayoko looking, but who cares? I want those two, but let's get that witch lady. Can we please that? That would make a really great addition to the Conjuring uh, figure line, I think. So yeah, you guys leave in the comments what you think of that. You want to see the other witch lady spirit. And here is the Crooked Man compared to yet unto another James Wan villain. We have 
jigsaw, of course, so you can maybe uh, go for more of a James Wan type display if you want with the with the nun and jigsaw and uh, the crooked man and Annabelle later. So yeah, really, we're we're finally starting to get some uh, some James Wan characters, which is very very exciting. Obviously, this figure is super old, but still. Ultimate Jigsaw, Nick, I'll make it happen, Ultimate Jigsaw. And then just bear with me for this upcoming comparison. Here he is with Jack Skellington. Just because they kind of have the same, like, body shape, don't they? They're kind of like, they're both like really lanky, skinny guys. I don't know. I don't know. I thought that could be a funny comparison. This figure sucks. <laughs> this is the Diamond Select Jack Skellington figure. And it is a piece of garbage. Do not buy it. Alright, now to compare him with some other licenses, here he is with the Ultimate Part 4 Freddy, uh, Part 4 Freddy, Ultimate Part 4 Jason Voorhees. Here he is with the Ultimate Part 4 Jason Voorhees. I mean, <laughs> fucking Christ. The Ultimate Freddy vs. Jason, Jason Voorhees, I got them, like, mixed up or something. <laughs> I've done this comparison a million times, what the fuck? Here we go. Here he is with the ultimate part three Freddy Krueger. I did it. There we go. We did it. Can I get a hand? All right. <laughs> Here he is with the ultimate Shookmeister. Here he is with the ultimate Sam. Here he is with the ultimate Mikael Michael Myers. Mikael Michael Mikael Myers from Halloween 2. And here he also is with the 2018 Mikael Myers and my custom 1978 Mikael Myers. <laughs> here he is with the Hellraiser Series 1 Pinhead. And here he is with the ultimate Leatherface. And that should round up the ultimate comparisons. Now for some 8-inch retro cloth comparisons, here he is with the Dr. Decker. Here he is with the ghost face, the face of ghost. He's actually quite a tall figure. Totally makes sense for the character, but still. Here he is with the Knight of the Demons 2-pack. Uh, I think uh, this figure does not stand up. Come on, Linnea, please. Thank you. There we go. And I forgot this one, so here he is with the ultimate Ash. Okay, now for our crooked showcase. So, I love it. <laughs> Final verdict time, I love it. I don't know what am I going to do at the end of this year, guys. How am I supposed to make a top 10 favorite NECA figures of the year if they keep releasing figures like this? What the fuck am I supposed to do? There's only 10 spots. Slow down, NECA, please. You know, usually a, a you know, but usually a company will be happy to release like five, like five or six good figures. NECA has already released like thirty amazing figures this year. What am I supposed to do at the end of this year? Okay, my personal problems aside, this figure is absolutely amazing. I love it so very much. I'm giving it a nine out of ten. I think it's a phenomenal release. If you have any love of the Conjuring two whatsoever, then you need to be getting this figure. ASAP. This is phenomenally done. The box is amazing. Accessories are great. If if the head sculpt truly is an original design by NECA, it's fantastic. I love it. Everything about this figure is great. Uh, like I said, nine out of ten. Even honestly, if it was if if I was telling you, I'd say it's a ten out of ten. But to give a more lenient ranking, I'm gonna go ahead and give him the nine out of ten. But he is fantastic. 
Thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more NECA content. And this is DK Guillotine uh, signing out. There once was a crooked man who walked a crooked mile. I don't know the rest of the song. Bah. Oh yeah, and he murdered his crooked family. Bah.